So today on this show, we take a look at something. We're looking at something very different. Not a kit. In fact, it's like a brochure, or I don't even know what to technically call this. So this was a book you got if you originally went to go see the original Awakening of the Trailblazer movie. I found this absolutely randomly one of the last times I went to Japan House down in Houston. It says movie brochure. That's where I kept getting it. So September 2010. So old. And got it for $14.99. I don't know if that's a good price or not. Um, I don't know if this is like mint or anything like that. Obviously, somebody took the time to put this in here. And this is clearly the English version because so the world is gradually changing, but, it, but the time has not yet come for the Trailblazer to rest. So that's pretty cool. And there seems to be a... Oh, that's the price tab. So I was going to rip it open, but this appears to be openable. I have not opened this. Like, so this is a first for me. Like, and as far as I can recall, I have not opened this at all yet. Um, considering how flawless everything is already, I'm pretty sure I haven't. I usually will tear the crap out of something. So this is like a heavy duty, look at all the dust. Yes, I keep the sofa there. Look at this, this is gorgeous. So uh, because we're gonna be looking at particular kits related to this this week, I figured this is a good way to start it out. Also, it should be fairly quick. Uh, I don't know if this is an art book or whatever it is, but this is a really great uh, painting of the poster here. You know, you got all the main characters, you know, you got Saji, you got Graham, Setsuna with his innovator eyes, uh, Tyria, um, <laughs> not Soma Pietis, Mari, Aluya, Aluya, um, wow, I don't remember, Felt? Felt, is that her name? Yeah. Marina, Lock on 2, uh, some whatever, Descartes Shaman or whatever his name is. And then you got the L's back there, all surrounded by the Quanta. And this is the standard edition, whatever that means. So that might have been, there's a other version that's not standard. This is a heavy duty thing. So let's open this up. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to set the camera so we can see. So let's open that up. And black page, mostly Japanese. Peace cannot be kept by force, it can only be achieved by understanding. Wow, that's fairly prolific right now. And this is, of course, from the uh, closing of most of season two. Okay, so we're gonna run into an immediate problem. That's in Japanese, and I'm not, so we're gonna see a lot of the art and stuff like that. Uh, this looks like it might have been opened before, but you know, you got Setsuna in the cockpit here, you got Descartes there in his thing. Yeah, that's his lock on. Uh, Louisa, whenever she first gets activated, when the elves show up, there you go. All kinds of neat stuff there. Uh, even all the way up to the final battle. That's cool. Even the thing there. So this is clearly the story because you got 2314 right there. Man, now I, now I kind of wish this was in English, but it is what it is. Okay, so we got the different characters. I didn't know how high I had to be, sorry. Celestial Being. Got all the different characters here. So that's in a lock on to all that. So they got the different suits. We got the Celestial Being ship. Good to go there, I believe. Or is that one of the other things? I can't tell. <clears throat> Sumaragi Li Noriega, Phil to Grace. So my Pierre is Lasse, Lasse Aeon. I like Lasse, he was a cool character. Uh, <clears throat> Melania, Melania? I think it was Melania. Vashti, Ian Vashti, Linda Vashti. They were important, and they're the main engineers and stuff like that to basically keep everybody going. Hold on, let me... Sorry, just really trying to do this. So we even get Setsuna right there and their cool space gun meeting up in there. You got the double O going into Trans Am Burst. And then we get the four movie Gundams, Quanta, well, excluding the double O. Quanta, uh, Zavanya, Harut, Raphael. That's pretty cool. The point, point. I don't know. I want to know what they say. Tieria Erde, Alleluia Haptism, the home Stratos. I assume that somewhere in there it says their real names. 
Okay, so Federation people now. Yep, Descartes Shaman, I was right. Graham Aker, got the mannequin. So she was commanding the celestial being, the ship. You know, once they kind of handed it over to the Federation near the end there. And we got Patrick Kolosar, Andrei Sumer Sumerinov. Sumerinov. Nah, I like that, so that's cool. We like her. And then, let's see, Billy Katagiri, <laughs> Mina Karma, and I forgot, that was his replacement girlfriend for uh, for Sumeragi. He looked just like her and everything like that. The president, <laughs> no actual name, Shirin Bak Bakchiar. So she was important. Uh, she was Marina's side sidekick until she left her at the end of the series. That's cool. Klaus, Klaus was from... Um, I don't remember the name of the organization, but they were the ones uh, overseas that were basically trying to keep things afoot or just keep things going. And then he eventually like becomes super important later on. Okay, so we got some more Federation here. We got some Jinx Force, which we do see at one point. And of course the Brave, that's the normal Brave. And then you get the Gadeleza, which is, you know, a mobile armor based, clearly based off of the uh, uh, G and arms, and then you know, a few extra things like that. And then we got, I guess, how the story is unfolding like that. You know, Saji Crossroad, Marina, Ismail, and Louisa Halvey. They, it's, at least within the story, they haven't gotten married yet. Oh, Jesus, look at this. Okay, so we got the double O graffiti 2307. So, this is the backstory. Look at this, this is awesome. Backstory of Double O. So we got Aeolia Schemberg, everything about him. Then you got uh, Setsuna back in his uh, original days. That's back when he was. Uh, oh, it's the full timeline. I just realized it. Yeah, so 2100, 2292, 2301. So that coincides to these things. So back in whatever year, it doesn't have a year for it. It shows that that's the O Gundam comes out whatever happens there so you got the AU their main suits going on here I was gonna say AU but then it shows everybody's initial mobile suits interesting okay so main events that happen along the timeline things like this this is cool all the way up to the creation of the uh, GNX's the thrones you know the end of that all this stuff here with discovering Veda. Nice screenshots there. The fake GN drives, the Union coming together, Trans Am being exposed. That jackass ruining everything. Okay, wow, this is nuts. Okay. So. All more things happening here. That's when Momentum Mori was first used. The assault on Momentum Mori. Ptolemy 2. Double O being launched. Getting into action there. Uh, Smirnoff. You know, the Russian dudes getting together there. Uh, and then him getting blamed for everything by the A laws. And then, man, this is a full Double O story. This is awesome. I love it. I like this. Okay, so this is all the stuff. Mr. Bushido. Uh, I can't tell exactly what's going on there. Something to do with the orbital elevator. That's probably when they defended it, when everything was falling apart. There's Kati. Trans Am. That's them going after the celestial being there. Marina Ismail. This looks like the very end, if I had to guess. Number 15. Yeah, that's the end of the series, when everything is better. It's attacking the other Momentum Mori. When they discover that she's an innovator, sent to spy on them, and then the final battle there. Nice. Whoa. Nice. Double O Quanta. Zoom out. That's awesome. Look at that. And then you got Setsuna and Descartes. See, one thing I don't know is like, so Setsuna and the rest of Celestial Being sort of do their own thing, but then the Federation is still doing anything. Oh, the voice actors. That's cool. Omuru Mayano, Shinichiro Miki, Ryo Katsuji. 
Looking for any names I might know. Might know. Hiroyuki Yosh Yoshino. Hiroshi Kamiya. It doesn't tell you who they play. Or if it does, it doesn't say in English. It doesn't help me out any. Yu Irino. Yurichi Nakamura. Ayumi. Sunematsu. Toru Furyu. Furu Furia. It's hard to say. Stuff I can't read. Great. Things down here. Stuff that happens in the movie. It's one of those things that I wish I could do. So that's when I'm fighting the L's and everything else like that. Use the Trans Am. Epilogue. Nice CG render there. Hey, right. theme songs for the for the series or for the maybe it's for the series, but I think it might just be for the movie. That's pretty cool. Cast and staff for the movie. Up oh, merch. <laughs> Here's all your merch for the movie. Little pin. No pendant thing there. We got this guy. Okay, so you could have this one or this one. So this one was better. This is only 950 yen. Overcharging the crap out of me. Are these tickets? This might have been tickets or something. Keychains, notepad, celestial being pen. I want that. That's pretty awesome. Different things there. Different bags. These are, I'm sure they're not coasters, but that's what they look like. No way I can get any of this stuff. That'd be cool though. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so the Black Horn, they're the ones who did songs there. Nice. Ah, oh, unicorn ads. DVD ads. G selection. Ah, there we go. Kits. Okay, actually, actually, this isn't a kit. That's the uh, Robot Spirits version. That's that. Look at this. Had candy toys of them. Look, this one actually came with the ring to do things. Ring of Meisters. That's pretty cool. Look at this. They all had some type of effect parts. Damn, the kits didn't come with that. Here, Converge stuff. Look at that. Oh, the, the Flag Custom too. The thing we never got a kit for. That's BS. RG Grandpa. HG. HD Double Quanta. That should look familiar because we're going to do that tomorrow. And actually, look, there's the ones we've already done. So there's the HG Quanta. There's the previous movie Gundams that we've already done. So that's pretty cool. Not going to lie. I mean, this was a completely random find and purchase. I enjoyed it. That was actually really neat. I'd like to translate most of that if I could. Um, I don't know if I'll have time to do that in between here, but maybe later on down the line. If you like this, let me know. I think this is a really cool. Uh, random thing so I don't know I'll leave it up to you guys let me know what you think uh, if there is the other version the non-standard edition if it has anything different in it I'd love to see it if possible and uh, it sucks that I like double O and I was not aware of the movie back then definitely didn't get a chance to see it in theaters that would have been a really cool thing to actually get to see but like I said this is kicking off some uh, trailblazer kits so tomorrow we'll look at the HG Quanta Yay. I'll see you guys then. Remember to like, subscribe, check out all the other Double October stuff. If you want to, go ahead and uh, submit any builds or things you have to the Shoki Discord down below. Also, Double October merch if you're interested. I should like try to replicate that. Hmm. Maybe yeah, that's a new design. So, obviously, I film these things before everything comes out. So, if a t shirt design comes up that's similar to that, you know, we'll see. So, but I'll catch you guys later. Remember, as always, keep on building.